So I specialize in new construction and being a broker who sells a lot of new construction here in Northeast Florida, I walk through a lot of homes. And as you can see from all my videos, I'm very much on top of what's going on here, specifically in the St. John's County area when it comes to master plans and the builders. And I have my opinions on communities, builders, floor plans, and I try not to be too opinionated and be very open-minded. And I prefer to keep those uh, opinions specifically more so for my uh, clients who are committed to me as I am 100% committed to them. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about a floor plan, which I am gonna share my opinion because it's probably one of the most popular floor plans I've seen in multiple communities. Now, in the community that I live, Nocatee, uh, this floor plan was referred to as the Michler floor plan in Palmetto Cove. And that floor plan, these builders, such as Toll Brothers, can only build so many. And so in this community today that I'm showing you, if you haven't already checked out my video on Bartram Ranch, today I'm gonna to show you the Michler, but it's actually always and is now referred to as the Del Mount Monaco floor plant. Now, my wife has been telling me how much she loves the Del Monaco for years, and I have yet to fulfill her dreams, but today you can fulfill yours as we get in to a full tour of the greatest floor plan here in St. John's County, the Delmonico, which is available now. Let's get into it now. So what I love about the Delmonico is there is so many different options to enlarge this house, add bedrooms, even add an extra garage. So as you can see here in this model, there is three car garage. You have a double here on the left side and a single on the right, but you do have the option to bump out that single on the right to make it another double and consider it a four car garage. Although these double garages depending on what kind of vehicle you have, depending on how you can put two cars in that garage. Now, as we enter the Delmonico, you'll notice here a little porch area, which is nice, and a single door entrance. As you have entered the home, you have a grand foyer, and to your right is the entrance from your single car garage outside that single car garage entrance is your first bedroom and this bedroom has its own bathroom WC shower and lots of windows which Toll Brothers is well known for this makes for a good guest bedroom because it's tucked away in the left corner of the home with its own bathroom. Right next to that bedroom is a laundry room. It is upgraded with double stack cabinets, nice countertops, port upgrade, and then built-ins for your washer and dryer. You do have also a sink upgrade in this model as well. A lot of people ask all the time what these boxes are for, but this is where your wiring will be through the home, as well as your modem. Usually they are in the laundry room. So as we come out of this front wing of the home, back towards the entrance, to the left you'll notice an office. Nice size office, two windows, which looks out into the front of the home in your porch area. You do have the option to put a closet in here and make this a six bedroom, but obviously I think it's most preferable as an office. As you'll notice here right in the great room, 
20 foot ceilings, very dramatic entrance in this Del Delmonico. Probably one of the main reasons why my wife loves it so much. It is an open floor plan, but feels a little bit more comp compartmentalized with this section here. Massive island in the kitchen. Bartram Ranch is a gas community, so you're gonna have a gas stove. Plenty of room on the island to have breakfast in the morning in your breakfast bar. Additional cabinet storage underneath there. And a nice window for natural light in your Delmonico. As we head back here, you will notice your entrance from your double garage. This is also where you'll have your water softener, which you will need here in Northeast Florida. And you will have your sprinklers automated and there is your two electric panels. And there's the loop for your water softener. As you come in from your two car garage, you have a little bag drop area. And across from that is a pantry. As you come out of the pantry area, out of the kitchen, you have your formal dining. And again, this dining room is an upgrade because they have bumped out the square footage. On the side here between your office and the kitchen, you do have a half bath for your guests. And then you have your first closet for your AC. Not very interesting, but that is where AC number one goes. Another option here is this electric fireplace, although I always recommend keeping the fireplaces for outside here in Florida as it is rather unnecessary to have a fireplace in your home, but electric fireplace is more for aesthetics. As we enter the primary bedroom, you'll notice again, this master bedroom has been pushed out three or four feet. That is another structural upgrade. Look at that outdoor living space. We'll get there in a moment. And then off the primary is the primary bath. And this has also been expanded, structurally upgraded to comfortably fit a standalone tub. Love that little spray nozzle there to get rinsed off after soaking. And then quite a massive rain shower for you and your friends to enjoy. Here's the WC. And in the back here, tucked away, is your primary closet. Of course, again, all these built-ins are upgrades and it's something you can do after your build is complete. In the primary bedroom, this is the view. As you exit this massive great room, Go ahead upstairs, as you see, you have upgraded wood stairs. And another window, keeping it light and breath for these Toll Brothers homes. To your left at the top of the stairs is bedroom number one upstairs has a built-in shelf here, the view of the front of the home, and then a walk-in closet, very generous size walk-in closet, as you can see, and its own bathroom. With the size of this closet and the private bath, this would definitely be my daughter's room, as my wife would say if she could have this home. As we go across here past the stairs again, there's bedroom number two upstairs and just check out how massive this is. And 
this bedroom. Also, number two has its own bathroom, which I happen to have a second daughter, so she would also get her own walk-in closet and her own bathroom. Now this home comes standard, just under 4,000 square feet, but the model I'm walking through today has many upgrades. It has additional bedrooms upstairs. And again, there are lots of options for this home to make it a six bedroom, up to 5,000 square feet, I believe. This is your loft area for all my folks that are missing a basement. We don't have basements here in Northeast Florida, or in Florida, I don't think. Well, we have lofts. And this one is very generous. Finally, we'll go ahead, take a gander here real quick. Not interesting, but the second AC. Upstairs, two units. Bedroom number three. Lots of windows as they're always generous. And a massive walk-in closet. Across from bedroom number three is a linen closet. Never can have enough closet space, I believe. And then a bathroom. Shower tub combo. And a single vanity. And these two bedrooms on this wing, they share that bathroom as the other two bedrooms upstairs have their own bathrooms. This is also an upgrade. This massive fourth bedroom up here, which they have it looking like a arts and crafts room or home, homework, homework room. Or for all my friends that are homeschooling, this is gonna be quite a nice little classroom, but considered a bedroom in this case but homeschool learning could be its best in a room like this. This is massive for a bedroom. Love the upgrades that Toll Brothers offers. This is engineered wood. It looks like a white oak. Now I always like to say the best for last because you don't always have to go up to 5,000 square feet. You can take the standard 37 or 3950 square foot of the base of this home and save some money for what's becoming more and more popular these days are these outdoor living spaces. Feast your eyes on this, folks. This one's a multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars outdoor space. But that's why I would say Make sure you leave room in the budget, because if you're building a home of this magnitude, it's gonna run you in a, over a million dollars. But then once you get into the outdoor space, this is gonna run you two, three, four hundred thousand dollars $400,000, depending on the magnitude of your outdoor space. But here in Northeast Florida, as I stand here in February 2024, 67 degrees, absolutely gorgeous outside. Why wouldn't you wanna be out here enjoying this amazing weather and of course if you're going to be outside eating a marvelous dinner on a sunday evening like this you got to have an outdoor kitchen and this bad boy certainly tickles my fancy a little kegerator there a little fridge some storage of course a nice tv how about an oven pizza oven And I'm always looking at these toys because I've got to figure out what it is I'm looking for in my next outdoor kitchen, but I get a lot of use in my outdoor kitchen. And again, this home doesn't have it, but if you're looking for even more dramatic outdoor space, um, you can certainly Save yourself some room and a budget for some outdoor fire pit or an outdoor fireplace. Because it's a gas community, there's a lot you can do with outdoor living, adding a little dramatic fire. Because it does get cold here in Northeast Florida. It's not like South Florida. It gets cold during the December 
January, February months. Not so much this February. I mean, a few nights it's gotten in the 40s, but not too bad at all. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tour of the Delmonico. It's certainly one of our favorites, and I will say that as development continues very at a very fast pace here in St. Johns County here in Northeast Florida, um, options are becoming limited and limited. And as I said in my video, Bartram Ranch Toll Brothers community, it's turning out to be quite a project. As they enter into phase five, this is the only phase where they're offering electronic gated community, which there are a lot of advantages for that and it's not just security but other advantages as well so right now they finally opened that phase they're going to release them slowly and of course the lots they're going to release are going to be in sections and i do believe as always like the builders do they always increase the price of lot premiums as well as the base price of the home every four or five sales so as of filming this right now here in the end of february I do believe that the opportunities is now, and uh, I'm seeing lot prices at 49,000 to 79,000, and I have no doubt in my mind those will go well over 100,000 at some point. So if you're looking to build a larger home in St. Johns County, brand new, a great quality builder like Toll Brothers, a phenomenal floor plan like the Delmonico, make sure that you do not wait too long because Again, they can only build so many, and then you will be having to take a secondary uh, option build in this community. So I hope you appreciate this video. My name is Greg DiTullio. I wanna let you know that it costs you nothing to have representation on purchasing a new construction home with Toll, Toll Brothers. It is a marketing expense to them. That's how I get paid, and it is a benefit to you to have representation on your side. The sales reps work for Toll Brothers. They are looking out for the best interests of the builder, first and foremost, and you secondary. So it costs you nothing to have an advocate on your behalf, especially if you're gonna be out of town. You certainly want someone checking in on your build. And we offer additional services to help you get through that design center process. I have a personal designer and someone who has previously worked for a builder for over 10 years to accompany you through that two day design process, which is quite a very stressful process, trying to figure out your finishes. This way you're prepared in advance for the whole process is having representation and someone checking in on things as the build comes along. That build time will take about 12 months, but again, it's, better to get started and wait too long as again your pricing will go up and your options will be limited so if you haven't checked out my video in Bartram Ranch check it out it will be on the link below And if you need to contact me you can text me call me email me my information will also be pinned in the comments and also will be in the description below I will see you on that next video